Pitching of tents, arrangement of seats, cleaning. All indications that some very important persons will be present here tomorrow. With just hours to go before the much anticipated meeting at the Kisi Stadium Friday. It's all systems go with hundreds of delegates already having arrived in the Ongwale County. And tomorrow, these delegates have all the important role of coming up with a joint position of the BBI report. They're also expected to craft a strategy of popularizing the report among the residents. You are saying that each one of them gets that booklet. You are not helping them. So we have to bring them together. We discuss as a region. We have common issues. If it is in Nyanza, we trade together. While welcoming the delegates, host Governor James Ongwai on his Twitter account say that the county is more than adequately prepared to host the delegates from its neighboring counties to chart the way forward on all the crucial documents. However, as expected allies of Deputy President William Ruto in the popular region have taken a different stand over tomorrow's meeting, terming it as a waste of taxpayers' money. These sentiments being expressed on social media through the hashtag ArrestOngwai. Those opposed arguing that the residents and leaders in the county have bigger development priorities. The multi-sectoral stakeholders' engagement will bring together governors, senators, members of parliament, members of county assemblies, elders, clerics, opinion leaders, women, youth, business leaders, small traders and professionals from the region with the aim of engaging in critical discourse over the report which was released last year. Already Kisumu County has said funds to 32,000 participants to Kisi on Friday. With Governor Anyang Nyongo affirming his administration's commitment to the constitutional review process through the Building Bridges Initiative. We support the BBI fully and the meeting tomorrow on the 10th of January 2020 and other subsequent meetings be used to push the momentum for the BBI agenda. This as a section of leaders from Western Kenya allied to ODM leader Raila Odinga reiterated support for upcoming Building Bridges Initiative conference set for January 18th at Bugungu Stadium in Kakamega County only a day after a rival group dismissed it. Led by Kakamega Senator Kiliofas Malala and ODM Secretary General Edwin Sifuna, the 10 leaders defended themselves against claims that the meeting will be an orange democratic movement affair to popularize his party leader Raila Odinga and his deputy Kakamega County Governor Weekly for Parinyam. The price of this process should only be equated to the price of tribal animosity and rebuilding of our beloved country after ethnic clashes. If anyone thinks that this process is unnecessarily expensive, let them try and quantify the cost of ethnic clashes as witnessed in the 2007-2008 post-election violence. This process should therefore not be trivialized or hijacked by a few individuals for personal gratification or gain. The meetings come at a time when several opposition leaders are publicly calling for the improvement of the document to have an executive prime minister as opposed to the non-executive premier who is appointed and fired by the president. Angela Cheror, K24 Evening Edition.